PMDG just recently released their newest update on the 737NG series and we're gonna test it so strap on. So let's go get this bird started up, battery on, standby power guarded, alternate flaps off, wipers park, electric hydraulic pumps off, gear down, three green, external power can come on. Alright, so engine oil quantities are checked, hydraulic quantities are also checked. Oxygen pressure is checked at least a thousand psi. Heat break down detent. Lops up indication agrees. Spring break set. Pressure is sufficient for now. Voice recorder on. Valley switch is on, emergency slides arm. Then we call test and position light to steady. Go ahead and request fuel. 22, 1, 2, 3. Start. Now we're going to go back. We're going to go to electric electronic flight deck settings. And we're going to switch this to feet, feet, nautical miles, inches, pounds, safe preferences. Okay. Back to performance, import, import, wait, 10 left, optimum, optimum, pounds, going to be 188.2. EG will just put it in defaults 25 and calculate. So our maximum takeoff weight today can be 187.700 which is within tolerance we're expecting 166.4 let's check the landing import taking three one left dry flaps 30 off uh, on off import calculate this is checked this is checked that's perfect everything's good so what they're set to nine out of three on all three set we'll do a ground communication to the ground. All the aircraft documents are checked. PA system test has been done. Light deck access system checked. Emergency equipment is checked. And the first officer will then do the after reds flow. So all the lights are normal. On, on. Everything's checked. That works. The circuit brakes are all pushed in and the access Hatch is closed. That's checked. Recall. Checked. And cancel. Now I just want to divorce. Yep, okay, that's fine. So we'll continue with the uh, FMC.
passengers boarding starting. Wide slope. This way. Pull up. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Airspeed low. Airspeed low. TCAS test. Pass. All right, pre-flight checklist. Oxygen test at 100%, navigation transfer and display switches, normal auto window heat on pressurization mode sector auto flight instruments, track 026026, altimeter 29903 set on all three. Parking brake set, engine start levers cut off. Pre-flight checklist completed. But oh, we're just gonna wait for boarding to complete. And we're pretty much ready to go. Alright, so APU started, everything is set up, we can do the before start items, we're a bit early today, which is nice. Trims, 4.5 units. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. It just set. Before start checklist, flight deck door closed and locked V2, 158, heading 0, 103, 
Altitude 7000, takeoff speed is V1, 152, 153, 158. Video pre flight complete, rudder and alarm from Frenzy, all taxi and takeoff briefing completed, anti collision light is on. Alaska 222 Alpha requesting push and start. Alaska 222 Alpha, you can push back to Tango, tail to the east for me this morning, and I'll have an ATIS up for you very shortly. Alright, push back approved, tail east, 222 Alpha. One three gusting two zero ten mi ten miles visibility few clouds. Please set parking brakes. Waiting your confirmation for a good engine start. Cockpit to ground. We have a good engine start. You can disconnect. Unlocking gear. Ignition. Light control check. Pull up. Pull down. Neutral. Pull left. Pull right. Pull left. Pull right. After start checklist, over four taxi generators are on. Probe heat on and. Ice off, isolation off, auto, engines are switches, continue or auto, recall, and signal given, recall checked. Auto brake, RTO, engines are levers, auto detent, flight controls checked, ground equipment is now clear. Alaska 222 Alpha with Delta, looking for taxi clearance. Alaska 222 Alpha, runway 10 left, taxi tango, straight ahead, Echo 3, Echo. Kilo, cross runway 21, Kilo 1, hold short, 1, 0, to the left. All right, Tango, Echo 3, Echo, Kilo, cross runway 21, Kilo 1, hold short, runway 10 left for 222 Alpha. And Alaska 222 Alpha, do be advised, I do have center online above me now, so departure will be 135.45. So. Copy that, 222 Alpha, thank you. Before takeoff checklist, last five green lights, stabilizer trim, 4.5 units set before takeoff checklist completed. Portland Tower, uh, Alaska 222 Alpha, holding short runway 10 left, ready for departure. Alaska 222 Alpha, Portland Tower, good afternoon. The wind zero nine or zero at one three gust two zero runway one zero left clear for takeoff. All right, clear for takeoff runway uh, one zero left for two twenty two alpha. Thank you. I'm cruising for, for departure. Remember 
Gears coming up. All now. Alaska 222 Alpha contact departure 135.45. See ya. Over to departure. See ya. 222 Alpha. And tatter above 4000. Cleared Arnav Zulu approach runway at Freezer. Very quiet. Tatter above 4000. Cleared the Arnav Zulu Freezer at just speed 652. Center Alaska 222 Alpha passing 1700. Alaska 222 Alpha Seattle Center, uh, welcome. Radar contact. Climb and maintain 15000. Climb and maintain 15000 for 222 Alpha. Southwest 975, welcome to Spokane, the taxi department via Alpha as you're I'm not able to put this in the off position, probably because my landing gear lever is only up and down which is uh, unfortunate, so I need to figure out how to do this properly. Um, but before I do that, let's do the after takeoff checklist and then uh, I'll let you enjoy the views. After takeoff checklist, engine bleeds on, packs auto. Landing gear up, we'll be off here in a moment, and flaps up, no lights after takeoff checklist completed. Alright, so we're about to reach the top of descent. So uh, let's go ahead and get set up. Recall, checked. We're landing en route. I'm going to import the weather. Altimeter 29er, 9er 7. We'll pre select that in here. 
Throwing weight 3 1 left. Landing config 30. Go ahead and calculate that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do the approach briefing, uh, let the passengers know of our situation, and then we'll see you on the approach. Southwest 7110, 7 miles in trail, company aircraft, wind 26010, runway 24, right clear. Clear land number 2, we are still looking at Southwest 7110. Southwest 7110, roger, that traffic, search at 12 o'clock on a 7 mile final altitude, indicates 3000. Appreciate it, I think your sense just not rendering it for some reason. It's on the same side. Roger, you've got good space now, seven miles. You can resume normal. Sounds like seven miles, that resume normal. Radio check slider. SoCal, Southwest 505, hello, flight level 120. Southwest 505. Five. SoCal departure, welcome. There is a controller, an approach controller in the San Diego area on 119.6 frequency change. Roger, 119.6, Southwest 105. I thought you were going to say, what is the uh, Edwards, uh, uh, low and hot, I can't see it down. Inferno, 1-1, unless we hear otherwise, it's, uh, it's not hot, and I haven't got any. Yeah, no, I, did. I, uh, I haven't heard anything either, I might have told you. Okay, uh, we're going to go uh, back to the next one. Roger, Edwards. SoCal departure, welcome. Palm Springs altimeter 29904. Squawk 7742 and say aircraft type. Raptor 1, Roger, read that correct. Uh, are you ready for departure or do you need a text?
Alright, shut down checklist. Fuel pumps off, propeat, auto, hydraulic panel set. Flaps up, parking brake set. So we can uh, now release them. And just start levers cut off, weather radar off. Alright, so welcome to Palm Springs. The 737-900ER Alaska service from Portland over to Palm Springs. It was a fun flight. I really enjoyed it, especially Palm Springs hand flying a little bit. Um, the airplane feels better than I'm used to. I know they said they've worked on it a little bit, um, and it really does feel much nicer, I will say. I'm also looking forward to the 777F. Maybe it comes out by the time these videos are out. Who knows? Um, but you can definitely expect a video or two of that as well. So, thank you for thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace.